There are lots of sober things to do in early recovery in Scottsdale, Arizona. I mean, everywhere, but specifically in Scottsdale, I'm going to talk about Scottsdale. I'm Tim Westbrook. I'm the CEO and founder of Camelback Recovery. And today I'm going to talk about some sober activities to enjoy in Scottsdale, Arizona and the surrounding areas, especially if you are new to sobriety and in your first 90 days of recovery. As someone who has been in recovery for many years, I know firsthand how it can be challenging to navigate the early days of sobriety. That's why it's important to find sober activities that you enjoy, which can help you stay on track and avoid triggers that could lead to relapse. So let's dive into some of the best sober activities to enjoy in and around Scottsdale. First and foremost, one of the best things you can do for your recovery is to get outside and enjoy the beautiful natural scenery that Arizona has to offer. Whether it's hiking in the McDowell Mountains, the Sonoran Preserve, or exploring the Red Rock Country in Sedona, there are plenty of outdoor activities that will help you clear your mind and stay grounded. Camelback Mountain, with an elevation of 2,704 feet, is an excellent hike or climb in Arizona. I love it so much, I named my treatment center and affiliated recovery programs after it. There's also Piesta Wa Peak, it used to be called Squaw Peak. Piesta Wa Peak's an amazing, there's so many amazing hikes here in Arizona. As you get into the summertime, you got to get up early in the morning and it's such an amazing way to start the day, connect with nature. If you prefer something a bit more low key, you might want to check out some of the many museums and art galleries in the area. Scottsdale is known for its vibrant art scene and there are plenty of exhibits and events that cater to all interests. The Heard Museum in Phoenix, Arizona is just one great example of something different that you can enjoy sober, maybe even on a first date. Another great option for sober activities is to take a yoga or fitness class. Exercise is an excellent way to release stress and improve your overall health and well-being. And there are many studios in the area that offer classes for all levels of fitness. I'm a big fan of those and yoga is now a cornerstone of my recovery. I'm actually in the process of yoga teacher training. So I'm going to be a certified yoga instructor. And I did that mainly to continue my own recovery path, just to solidify my foundation and solidify my recovery. Optimize is another wellness center that I like to frequent here in Arizona. And there's two locations right now. There's one in Arcadia, one in Tempe, and they have a couple more locations that they're working on putting together right now. Jesse Meringue and Michael Roviello are the owners. And Optimize is a community where you get to go and do Russian boots, red light therapy, infrared sauna, cold plunge, ice bath. And it's really focused on just health and wellness. And I love Optimize because like I see like-minded individuals that are also focused on recovery, focused on wellness, focused on staying grounded, calm, serene. Anytime I'm twisted up, if I'm stressed out, if I've got anything going on, if I go to Optimize, especially if I go into a cold plunge, you have to surrender if you go to a cold plunge. So once I do my cold plunge, I'm like, oh, everything's okay. Life is good. So if you're looking for something a bit more so social, why not check out a local coffee shop or tea house? These places have a relaxed atmosphere and you can meet new people while enjoying a good book and checking out the Scottsdale scene. Finally, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the importance of finding a supportive community during your recovery journey. There are many sober support groups in the area, including AA, NA, and other fellowship programs. These groups offer a safe and welcoming environment where you can connect with others who are going through similar challenges. In conclusion, if you are new to sobriety in your first 90 days of recovery, there are plenty of sober activities to enjoy in Scottsdale, Arizona and the surrounding areas. From outdoor adventures to cultural events and fitness classes, there's something for everyone. And most importantly, don't forget to connect with others and build a supportive community around you. Recovery is a journey and you don't have to go it alone. If you found this video to be of value, be sure to like it, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos, leave a comment if you have a question, if you've got something to say. Camelback Recovery provides treatment services for people struggling with mental health, mental illness, addiction, alcoholism. So if you or someone you know is struggling, be sure to reach out to us. You can go to our website, camelbackrecovery.com or our information is in the comment section below. And we provide everything from detox, inpatient, outpatient treatment, sober living, recovery coaching, sober companion services. So either we'll be able to help you 
or we'll be able to refer you to people or treatment centers that might be a better fit. So I will see you in the next video.